Harold Evans, do I make myself clear? Why writing well matters. In a world where clarity is often hard to find, do I make myself clear? Why Writing Well Matters by Harold Evans presents an essential guide to communicating effectively. As we navigate through the vast sea of information online, clarity has found itself at a premium, often masked by clickbait, mumbo-jumbo, and even intentional deception. But you can break free from this web of confusion and elevate your writing. In this summary, you will discover valuable insights into the techniques and principles of good writing that can make your voice heard and understood. The Writing Evolution The evolution of journalism has witnessed a transformation in writing styles and quality, with print media necessitating concise and focused writing, while online content tends to be fluffy, filled with jargon and sometimes misleading. However, writing isn't an inborn talent, but a skill that can be honed through dedication and practice, a lesson exemplified by the likes of Shakespeare's career progression. Once upon a time, Grabbing the latest issue of the New Republic magazine was a literary treat for fans of good journalism. Pages were filled with sharp and engaging writing. However, the 2012 takeover of the magazine by Facebook co-founder Chris Hughes changed everything. The magazine took residence strictly online, and the quality of its writing suffered, as it became shrouded in cryptic jargon-like, cross-functional collaboration. This is not an isolated case. The online world is plagued with verbose, vague content aimed at gathering clicks without delivering substance. The Financial Times, for instance, claims to be improving the efficacy of measurable learning outcomes. With such convoluted phrasing, the message is far from clear. Print newspapers that once ruled the information sphere imposed limitations on writing space, driving writers to be clear and concise with their words. In contrast, Online content often wades through excess verbosity to ultimately say very little. However, the internet isn't the sole culprit, TV news and academia are also breeding grounds for poor writing. But the state of writing doesn't have to remain this way. Writing isn't an innate gift, but a skill that can be sharpened with determination and hard work. Shakespeare's journey from his humble beginnings to masterpieces like King Lear and The Tempest proves that dedicated efforts can elevate one's craft. And you too can refine your writing abilities by employing tips and tools designed to help sharpen your skills. Crafting engaging sentences. Writing engaging content goes beyond adhering to classic sentence structures. While simplicity is important, it's crucial to balance clarity and variety making the content both interesting and easy to comprehend. Readability indexes can provide insights into your writing, but don't rely on them too heavily, as great communication transcends rigid constraints. Diversifying your sentence structures is key to creating captivating content. Sure, basic sentence construction is important, but sticking to textbook patterns will leave readers yawning. While each sentence must convey a complete thought, there are various ways to achieve this. Your subject, verb, and predicate placement serve as guidelines, not strict requirements. A single word sentence, for instance, can still express a complete thought, just like this, boom. Also, maintain simplicity to foster clarity. Writers are often advised to trim excess adverbs and adjectives, which can make sentences crisper. However, endless short, Basic sentences won't captivate readers. Prioritize clear communication while avoiding monotonous simplicity. Sentences like, the cat sat on the mat, are easily understood, but if every sentence mimics this form, you risk lulling the reader into a snooze. Readability indexes, which measure the ease of understanding written content, can offer valuable insights. Established in the late 1800s, these tools, such as the Flesh Reading Ease Index, the Flesh Kincaid Grade Level, Gunning Fog Index, and the Dale Chow Formula, provide scores and estimates about reading difficulty, education level required, and the use of complex words. One such metric even states an ideal sentence should average 18 words. However, don't place excessive faith in these indexes. While they assess basic vocabulary usage and sentence length, 
they may not provide a definitive evaluation of your writing's quality or effectiveness. Great communication transcends superficial constraints and numbers, focus on creating clear, diverse, and engaging content to truly make an impact. Mastering Clear and Effective Writing Successful authors, such as Norman Mailer, E. L. Doctorow, and Gore Vidal, adhere to vital principles of clear and effective writing. One principle is to minimize the use of passive voice, as it unnecessarily lengthens sentences and decreases urgency. Although there are exceptions where the passive voice is beneficial, such as illustrating tact or emphasizing the receiver, it is generally best to employ active voice. For instance, the next employee meeting is on Monday, reads more directly than, it was decided that the next employee meeting should be held on Monday. Another crucial rule is to avoid front-loading sentences with excessive details before stating the main point. Instead, present the problem first and then provide further context. By following these guidelines, you'll create engaging and understandable writing. Banish wordiness, embrace clarity. Writers often fill their work with unnecessary words, muddling their message and creating confusion in academic, bureaucratic, and political settings. These excess words include adverbs, adjectives, parasitical prepositions, and abstract nouns, which must be minimized or avoided. To enhance comprehension, writers must aim to express clear thoughts and avoid meaningless superlatives. By eliminating unnecessary words, a writer can communicate effectively and reach a broader audience. In various environments, such as academia, bureaucracy, or politics, writing often becomes bloated with excess words, a practice that either tries to appear intellectual or aims to confuse readers. For instance, voting proposals may use complicated language intentionally to manipulate citizens' decisions. To improve communication and convey messages accurately, writers must eliminate unwarranted words. Superfluous adverbs like exactly, precisely, or really can often be removed without losing any meaning. Instead of writing, the price was exactly $5, simplify it to, the price was $5. Similarly, adjectives, which are adverbs without the ly suffix, should also be used with restraint. A writer's goal should be to express a clear thought, avoiding superlatives that cloud the message. For example, rather than saying an event was shocking, describe why it shocked people. Parasitical prepositions, such as up and out, latch on to functional words yet add no value. Instead of writing, let's meet up at the cafe and test out the new app, opt for, let's meet at the cafe and test the new app. Finally, Abstract nouns like regard, indication, facilities, and issue lack concrete definitions and obscure the intended meaning. Be specific, don't just say you take issue with something, explain how you feel. By avoiding unnecessary words and focusing on clear communication, writers can successfully convey their messages and engage readers with ease. Enhancing clarity through positivity. Master the art of engaging in clear writing by minimizing double negatives, transforming negative sentences into positive ones, and introducing variety in form, function, and style. Elevate your writing from dull and mechanical to lively and captivating, keeping readers hooked to your every word. Every writer should be mindful of the notorious double negative. Remember, clarity comes first. Instead of focusing on what's not happening, convey the actual events. Convert a sentence like, it is unlikely that the fees will not be raised next year, to, the fees will likely increase next year. Assertive writing hooks the reader, creating a meaningful and easily digestible connection. To create captivating writing, breathe life into your words and break free from dry, mechanical language. Infuse your writing with rhythm and variation, using three key elements, form, function, and style. Combining these components will keep your readers engaged and eager for more. Don't let sentence structure hold you back. Introduce a mixture of simple and complex sentences to keep things interesting. Start with a few straightforward ones like, she got in the car and drove away, then shift to lengthier, meticulous expressions. Keeping readers intrigued by varying sentence structure encourages them to stay connected to your narrative. Incorporate diverse functions, 
statements, commands, questions, and exclamations, into your writing. By sprinkling questions and exclamations among your statements, you'll create an engaging flow that retains the reader's attention. Finally, elevate your writing through style. Choose from loose, conversational sentences reflecting everyday language, periodic sentences for tight, punchy emphasis, or balanced sentences for a more symmetrical and orderly presentation. Explore the power of balanced sentences, delivering points calmly instead of abruptly like periodic ones. Embrace these subtle changes for a remarkable improvement in your writing, helping you captivate readers aged 20 to 40, and beyond. Beware of zombie nouns. Professor Helen Sword coined the term zombie noun to describe words that used to be verbs but have been turned into nouns, often muddling in complicating sentences. Examples include implementation, documentation, and authorization, all of which were once the verbs implement, document, and authorize. Be cautious of words ending in dation, ants, mant, ment, ints, and shown, as they can often be removed or replaced with their original form for clarity. Another problematic category is flesh eaters, which are unnecessary, wordy versions of simpler phrases and contribute to confusion. Stay alert for cliches and stale phrases, striving for originality and fresh expressions in your writing. From the University of Auckland, it was Professor Helen Sword who first warned us of zombie nouns. These are words that started as simple, effective verbs but have since been transformed into confusing nouns, weakening their impact in a sentence. To keep your writing sharp and strong, always be on the lookout for these undead creatures. Examples of zombie nouns include implementation, documentation, and authorization. Each had a solid, reliable verb behind it, implement, document, and authorize. This zombification process, called nominalization, disrupts the clarity of your work. To prevent it from happening, scrutinize any word with endings like ation, ants, mant, ment, ints, and shown. Most can be swapped for their original form to drive your point home more clearly. Another group to steer clear of are flesh eaters. These words and phrases complicate sentences and murder clarity. For instance, replace in the possession of with the much simpler has or concerning the matter of with about. You may notice that legal documents are often riddled with these convoluted phrases, making them a chore to read. Finally, avoid cliches and stale expressions like blazing inferno, hammered out a deal, or last-ditch effort. Fresh, original writing is created through the challenge of developing innovative phrasings and avoiding the beaten path. Keep an eye out for those undead nouns and flesh eaters if you want to keep your words alive and kicking. Defending truth through language. George Orwell's 1984 illustrates the concept of newspeak, a language that curtails meaning and undermines free thought as an instrument of totalitarian control. Alarmingly, today's politicians are already manipulating language that bears resemblance to newspeak. Disregarding facts and playing with words has become a tool to gain power and control over the public narrative. As Hannah Arendt and Jonathan Swift have observed, intentional, political lies are employed to disempower facts and fabricate alternate realities. Hence, it is now more crucial than ever for us to keep the truth alive by employing accurate language and demonstrating our commitment to the authentic meaning of words. Only by championing precise and clear communication can we effectively counter the attacks on truth and prevent the world from spiraling into an Orwellian dystopia. Words that cost billions. The impact of unclear language is often underestimated, but its consequences can be dire. One example is the 2007 recession, which took place due to the complicated and impenetrable language banks used to describe subprime loan packages. This confusing language prevented customers and regulators from understanding the risks involved, which ultimately led to devastating losses. Politicians also use unclear language, often to avoid taking a firm stance on issues. In some cases, misleading language has been employed to undermine important issues like climate change and healthcare reform. It is crucial to use clear and honest language to communicate the truth and make informed decisions. Misusing language is no insignificant error, 
it has been shown to cost billions and bring calamity upon the world, as illustrated by the recession that began in 2007. It was the convoluted and unclear language used by banks to describe subprime loan packages that led to such devastation. Financial Times editor Gillian Tett revealed that banks intentionally kept information hidden in arcane language to prevent customers and regulators from grasping the risks involved in complex financial products, like collateralized debt obligations, CDOs, and structured investment vehicles, SIVs. Deceptive language is not only prevalent in the financial sector but also in politics. Former political speechwriter Barton Swaim has admitted that politicians purposefully use vague language to distance themselves from issues or to buy time before taking a definitive stance. In some cases, political organizations wield convoluted language strategically to manipulate public opinion. For instance, Texas Republicans characterized climate change as a conspiracy seeking to control people's lives. In another instance, Republicans used misleading language to block the Affordable Care Act, falsely claiming that it included death panels that would kill senior citizens. However, the English language can also be a force for good, challenging deception and advocating truth. As language has the potential to shape opinions, alter policies, and even cause economic turmoil, it is vital to use it wisely, with clarity and honesty to ensure informed decision making and a positive impact on society. In the crucial battle against confusion and disinformation, Harold Evans equips you with the tools to write well and communicate effectively. Understanding the importance of proper sentence structures, adjectival and adverbial precision, and rhythm in sentences is a vital step toward better writing. As both news writing and the business world can suffer from intentional obfuscation and unnecessary wordiness, following the principles laid out in Do I Make Myself Clear can bring illumination to a murky world. By upholding the sanctity of the English language, you can effectively contribute in the persistent fight for truth. <laughs>